Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today a cheap multimeter like this. Many of you have this one, you see this one in almost all my clips. And I'm going to show you today how to change the battery inside, it's very self-explanatory. And let's have a look inside this one to see what can be improved or what can we do besides using it, the, the thing that is meant to be. Alright, so stay tuned. Alright friends, we're going to turn it on. As you can see here, this is the sign for the battery. The battery is low, so this one needs to be changed. We're going to proceed by removing the clips. We're going to flip it over. We're going to take a Phillips screwdriver, unscrew these ones. Alright, and then twist it a little bit. To open the case, it's got some clips in the front here, so... One. There we go, friends. This is how it's looking inside. This cheap multimeter. This is the speaker that makes the sound for continuity. This is the 9 volt battery. A shunter here and a fuse as well. This is just to make it in place. Some chip. And that's about it. For changing the battery, it's very self-explanatory. Just remove this case out of the battery. Take off the old one. Put the new one in. It cannot go wrong because it's got these special connectors. Fit it inside. And you can see it's no longer the battery sign over here. Yeah, so it's got a fresh new battery and let's take it further apart. Maybe we can mount some um, lighting. Okay, right, to go further than this, uh, it's got two screws, one here and one under the, the fuse. We're gonna proceed by removing the fuse first. And then I'm gonna take our Phillips as well and remove this screws all right we have unscrewed this one as well i was thinking this one was holding just the speaker but apparently this one was mounted to the case as well so now here you go this is inside folks and i saw something has falling out a ball bearing of some sort uh-huh all right, this is the thing. There you go. This one has got some ball bearings. One just fell out and the other one is over here. So it helps you slide to the position as well. All right, so that's that. This is the stuff that you can find in a cheap multimeter. I show you early how to dismantle it. <coughs> And then we're gonna take a closer look at the, the screen. Yes, nearly to fall down. This is the screen. A small tip here. We're gonna try and clean this one. A lot of dust. Here you go. And this is the screen. As you can see, it's easily replaceable. And I think it's this way. I'll clean this one as well, a little bit. And let's see, 